Warning, the stunts in the following video are performed by a trained expert with 30 plus years of minecrafting experience. For the protection of yourself and those around you, do not attempt anything you are about to see at home. Enjoy. What is up everybody? Today we are back in the wonderful land of Minecraftia and today we are going to be testing some more myths on yet another episode of Minecraft Mythbusters. That is right, you guys absolutely love this series last time we made it and so we are back and we have another one. In last episode you guys submitted a whole bunch of awesome myths and so obviously we are going to be testing them today. Now before we go ahead and jump into today's episode I just want to go ahead and mention two things. Uh, number one, if you guys could leave any myth that you know about on Minecraft for the console that we have never tested here before on Minecraft Mythbusters, please Please do feel free to leave those down into the comment section and maybe I will select your myth for next episode. Please try and make sure that it's one that we haven't tested before because obviously I don't want to do any reruns of myths that we have done. And also if you guys really liked the series and you guys want to see it continue make sure you guys also drop a like down below and that really does let me know that you guys like this series and I can continue to make them for you guys to enjoy. So with all of that out of the way let's go ahead and jump directly into today's episode. So our first myth actually comes from two different people being Ian and Hypersonic and they both say that if we have a maze with a sheep on one side and me on the other with some wheat, the sheep will be able to navigate the maze and get to the other side because, you know, obviously sheep like wool. Now I don't know if I AI on this game is really that smart, but we're going to go ahead and test it. And so to start off what we're going to do is we're just going to build a maze. Now I don't want to make it too complicated because I really don't know what the range is on how far away animals can like sense wheat. And so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly build a maze and then we're gonna test it. Whew, okay, so I don't think I've ever really had a, a fair appreciation for how much time it takes to create a good maze, but hopefully I've created, you know, a fair one here for Mr. Sheep, and uh, you can look here and see that I've also signed in my second controller here, and he's standing at the end of the maze with a piece of wheat in his hand, so we can really test this and get an overhead view of how the sheep does. Now I have created like a little uh, a little trick tunnel here, so he'll probably try and walk along this way and get stuck right here. But if this is actually a true myth and this is actually working, um, he should be able to get to to the uh, the second controller here with no problem. So let's go ahead and we will bust out this wall and we will see if uh, if Mr. Sheep can escape and make his way through the maze. And uh, I guess we're just gonna watch and see. So, oh my God. Oh my god, he did it in no time at all. What? This did- oh, oh. He- He literally- He- He- oh. I thought he would have walked, you know, like this and over here and been like looking at him through the wall. But no, he- He completed the maze with no problem at all. Look at him. Look at, <laughs> look at him down here on the bottom screen. Okay, my man. You deserve it. You deserve it. There you go. That's- Wow. I can't believe that actually worked. Wow, okay, so I guess Ian and, uh, and Hydra were, were totally honest with me and, uh, and gave me an honest myth. I really honestly didn't think that would work, but uh, Sheep McGee had absolutely no problem navigating this maze. Maybe next time we'll have to make it more difficult, right? Maybe we'll pick the end of the maze over here and see if that really is true. Or maybe, you know, it'll be like a really, really hard maze and see if he can really navigate it. But uh, I think as far as that myth goes, that's, that's pretty definitive for me. That was confirmed. He did it no problem at all. All right, our next myth comes from Sam C, and he says that if you fish in a lake of lava, you will get out cooked fish. Now, this is just something that's never crossed my mind to even try before, right? Because you wouldn't think that it would work, but if you think about it, it might actually, right? If you light a pig on fire or you light a cow on fire and you would get out cooked beef or cooked pork, right? Well, it only makes sense then that if the water version of that is lava, that if we fish in lava, we'd get out a cooked fish, right? Well, <laughs> I don't actually know if that's a real thing, but we're going to try it out anyway. So let's go ahead and just uh, and and just uh, try fishing in some lava here. Um, so it actually looks like... I don't even know if you can fish in lava. I, I can't... I can't get the... Uh, the fishing pole here to stay to stay high enough where I can see it. So let me uh, let me try something here really quick. No, I just I can't for the life of me get this uh, the, like the bobber where you can see you know when you catch a fish to stay above the lava like it's it just sinks instantly into the lava and like on fire. So I can't even I can't even come on dude stay above the lava. I can't yeah I can't even get the bobber to stay on top. Even like I know like this lava is probably deep here. Yeah, it is. But even in, like in the in the one deep lava, 
which this is like right here. Like I still can't even get the bobber to uh, to stay on top of the lava. Like it still sinks right down to the bottom, and, and you can't even tell when you get a fish. So I don't, I don't, I mean, if, I mean, obviously there's probably no fish in the lava, but if there were fish in the lava, they'd be cooked fish, right? And so I, I can't, I don't know, I can't, I can't even seem to be able to, to see if there's any even cooked fish in here because my bobber goes right to the bottom. So as far as I can tell, Sam C, unless there's some kind of lava fishing technique that I'm not aware of, I don't, I don't know, man, you'll just have to resubmit the myth, but as far as I can see, this is, uh, this is looking pretty busted. Alright, so our third and final myth comes from Elijah, and it is actually a falling myth. And, you know, what kind of Mythbusters episode is it without a myth where we fall from a certain height and break our legs? It's just it's just not a normal Mythbusters episode, am I right? And so his myth is actually that if we fall from a super high height that would normally kill us, and we grab onto a horse, tamed or untamed, before we hit the ground, we can actually survive the fall by riding the horse instead of, you know, riding the ground with our legs at 95 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and we can try that. Let me go ahead and I've built a little cobblestone tower here that would obviously kill us upon impact. And at the bottom, I'm just going to spawn a horse. Let me just go ahead and, uh, you know what? Let's just do it untamed. Let's just do it, uh, let's just hope he stays right there at the bottom. And we're just going to test it out very quickly and hopefully he'll still be within, uh, within distance to, uh, to grab him when we get down there. So let me quickly swap over to survival and, uh... I don't know. I guess we're just... I can't even see him from up here, but I'm assuming he's right there still. Hopefully. 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 Come here, buddy. Got him! Oh! What? Wait. Did I... I might have missed. I might have missed. It's very possible that I missed. Let me, uh... Let me come over here and see. I... Yeah, I might have missed him on my... On my fall. So let me just go ahead and try that one more time. Because I'm fairly confident that I just... I just straight up missed. I just biffed it. So let me... Alright. So there's the horse there. I can see him now. And, uh... And here we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Wow. Oh, and we still died. Okay, so, no, it doesn't appear that it is actually possible to survive a fall by landing on a horse because our legs still got... <laughs> they just got destroyed. Just, you know, like that awful, awful, you know, you just fell from the Empire State Building kind of noise. It's, it's, it just does it's just not, it's just not a real thing. So, apparently that myth was also b -b 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 busted. And I think that'll about do it for this episode of Minecraft Mythbusters. I really, really, really do appreciate all of you guys that submitted myths. Thank you for everybody that submitted them. There were some more good ones in there, but I really had to pick out a couple that I think you guys would enjoy in video form. And so if your myth didn't get picked and you think it was really, really good, it probably was. And just submit it again down in the comment section below. And if you guys didn't submit a myth last time and you want your myth to have a chance to be on the next episode, make sure you guys submit those down below because this series literally is not possible without you guys submitting myths down below because all of the ideas obviously come from you guys so I really really do appreciate that and if you guys enjoyed this episode of Minecraft Mythbusters and you guys like I said at the beginning want to see this series continue please do feel free to leave me a like down below and subscribe for some more Minecraft console content in the future and I think with that said that's about it for me I will see all of you guys later with another video so peace